Gauten Cooperative Governance MEC Lebukhang Maile and Jobek Mayor Jeff Makuba are visiting Loli in the south of Johannesburg this morning. The red ends destroyed dozens of shacks in that area, but according to regulations, no one should be evicted during the lockdown. Chofacho Moache is there and joins us um, from Loli in the south of Johannesburg. Chofacho, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. So there's been lots of confusion there as to whether the people that were evicted have been living in Loli or if they actually started erecting their sheikhs uh, over the last couple of uh, days. What do we understand to be the situation? That is true. Good morning, Clement. So we do understand, as you mentioned, that um, the Red Ants demolished about 188 sheikhs um, during the week on Thursday. And that is the main reason for the visit today by the MEC of Human Settlements, Lebukhang Maile, and the Joburg Mayor, just to get an understanding as to what exactly happened and just have a conversation with the people that actually lost their shacks during that demolition. But to give us details about what exactly happened, if they know anything at the moment, I'm joined by Lebukhang Maile. He is the MEC in Gauteng. Thank you so much for your time, sir. So just um, explain to us, do you have an understanding as to what exactly happened on Thursday? Well, we have been uh, told uh, through a briefing by the mayor because I had to speak to the mayor uh, to get an understanding of what happened uh, because the uh, instruction was issued by the city. And as you know, that uh, there's a regulation that during lockdown no one should be ev ev evicted. We were concerned as the provincial government that uh, uh, the municipality might have uh, breached uh, that regulation. But the Mayor assured me that uh, that's not the case, uh, and in fact, what they are dealing with is land invasion, uh, because there are people who are currently um, invading land. And uh, I must indicate that we are receiving uh, a lot of such reports, and that's why um, we would want to meet with the mayors uh, urgently uh, to look at um, uh, putting counter land invasion measures in place uh, during the process of lockdown, because it seems that. Um, um, uh, criminal uh, syndicates uh, are coordinating themselves and trying to um, use this opportunity to invade land. So what conversations will you then be having with the people that you expected to meet today? Well, we, we're not necessarily meeting uh, anyone, but it's just to uh, go to that area where there, there was a demolition and we'll also uh, uh, are told that uh, there are activities that are continuing now and that's why we are with the police would want to check uh, and understand even the modus operandi and uh, hopefully one or two leaders local leaders can also uh, give us a briefing of exactly what is the problem because we are receiving a lot of uh, complaints uh, from uh, community members and in fact some of them we were even saying yesterday the report from the city is not true. And that's why we decided that we should come here. Because some of them were saying, but we have been there for months and we were um, affected. And you might find that uh, there are people who uh, were not supposed to be um, affected and they are affected. So we will have to um, make a determination uh, working with the city to deal with the, um, um, each case based on its uh, merit. Now some would say, MEC, I'm not sure if you'll be able to answer this, but some would say that um, yesterday the, there was a court case that was um, in, in the South Gauteng High Court about this very situation where the city won that particular case and they had opposed um, what was the, the, applica the applicants and what had been said by the residents of Loli. And some would say, then why come here and try and see how you can now um, salvage the situation, how you can now fix the situation. Um, what would you say to those kind of talks that the, you, you oppose the, the, the application that was made in court and now here you are again as government trying to fix the situation? Yeah, what the city is opposing is land invasion. Uh, it's, uh, so the city and the province and national uh, we are at one that no one must be evicted during lockdown and no one will be evicted in Gaute. That means a message must be sent um, 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 and, and it must be understood. Um, it's it's un unambiguous. But at the same time, no one must be allowed and no one will be allowed to invade land illegally. So people must not confuse the two because uh, there are people who want to create an impression uh, that uh, lockdown means people can invade land and they can't be uh, evicted uh, if they in invade during this period. Anybody who has uh, 
occupied land uh, before the lockdown will not be evicted, shouldn't be evicted. But what we are working on now is a counter land invasion uh, to ensure that nobody invades uh, land. So the, the, the city went to court on the basis that it can't allow the situation to continue because what is continuing is illegality. And that's what the city's uh, position is. We've had a lot of land invasions in the past. What makes this one different? Is it because it's during the lockdown that it's not taking place? No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's not different. And that's why after the lockdown and after the uh, post the uh, COVID-19 uh, period, and we don't know um, uh, at what point we'll have to um, uh, get to normality. But at that point, we will come back and evict people who have uh, occupied land illegally. Uh, we, have, we already have court uh, orders in certain instances, and we are going to um, uh, effect those court orders uh, at the right time. So there is nothing um, unique about this situation. Uh, land invasion is land invasion. It must be uh, condemned. It must be stopped. And we must act decisively against uh, Lent uh, invaders. All right, thank you so much, Lubukang Maile, the MEC for Human Settlements, really just giving us details about the visit here today, saying that um, illegal land invasion should not be the case at all. And whether it's lockdown or not, Clement, um, saying that this um, really needs to be addressed urgently. Thank you so much for your time.